Hello everyone, welcome to today's new video from EVS. Today we're talking about the browse function and how to move elements in a playlist by using a clipboard function. How that works, I'm going to tell you right now. Adding clips to a playlist is very quick and easy as we all know. But once you've created your playlist, you want to be quick in browsing and moving elements in the playlist as well. You could use Jog or even Fast Jog to browse your playlist content, but the Browse key enables you to navigate element by element instead of jogging through the video. Simply press the Browse key to activate browse mode in your playlist. In this mode, you can quickly jump to the first frame of each element inside the playlist by moving the Jog dial. To exit browse mode, press the Browse key again. When browsing your playlist, you might discover you want to delete or move some elements in your playlist. To delete a playlist element, select Delete on the D key from the Playlist Edit menu when in Playlist Edit mode. The deleted element will be removed from the playlist, or at least that's what it looks like when you look at the LCD display. If we take a closer look at the preview channel on the multiviewer, we'll see that the element we deleted from the playlist now is loaded on the preview channel. The element will remain there as long as we stay in playlist edit mode. It will only be permanently deleted from the playlist when you delete another element or exit playlist edit mode. So in fact our preview channel becomes a clipboard when we're in playlist edit mode. We can use the clipboard to browse our clips on the server or we can use it to park deleted elements. By using the preview as a clipboard, you can easily move elements around in your playlist. By deleting them, parking them on your preview clipboard and inserting the element where you want in your playlist by pressing the insert or take button. 